What's up everybody, it's Spare with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. Now I know a lot of you know recently that I upgraded my uh, hardware to a new graphics card and are probably wondering why the frame rate is so bad. <laughs> the honest answer is I don't know. Um, I will say this ship looks really kind of freaking awesome. A lot of detail, but a pretty big ship overall and i won't lie it has one of the longest mod lists i have ever seen so that could have something to do with it um because it's not it's a uh, though it is a world download so it's possible that the world has more stuff in it causing more issues i'm not really sure i kind of expected uh everything to run a bit smoother on normal builds outside of planets since I can actually run planets pretty well. So apparently this one just has a ton of mods in it or something. Or there's something like a lot of blinky lights or something that's causing it to be really, really framey, which is really surprising. Uh, this is kind of the first... Uh, this episode is going to be kind of a tester for me in a way. Um, kind of pushing my new hardware to its limits to see what all I can and can't get away with. I probably wouldn't have even been able to run this on my old card. Uh, oh, good. I love when all the buttons are in different languages. Lights. Hatch. Okay. Um, hold on one second. All right, well, that was interesting. I just had a random coughing spell when one of my eyes started watering, so that was fun. Um, all right. I don't know what light air and light cord is. A corridor, maybe? I don't know what light air is. Oh, airlock. Ah, I gotcha. So the description was nil on this build. Absolutely nothing. There was no description. So can't blame me for not knowing what is what in the ship. But it looked really cool. So, you know, that's what, that's what counts. Um, so yeah, we've got all kinds of bits and bobs and doodads and pipes and lights and fans and vents and all kinds of stuff. So it's very, very heavily modded. Uh, which isn't a bad thing. It's just surprising to me as far as like there are a ton of mods. Some of them I think were just texture packs and things like that for LCD screens, but still, there's still a crap ton of them. And it's apparently actually a much larger ship than I originally expected it to be. It's kind of like one of those Corvette small ship grid builds, but big. Like, <laughs> like they actually went crazy with it. Um, we had this really cool view of our skybox here, though, with that window. That's pretty nice. And it looks like all of our reactors and batteries, oxygen, so pretty much supplies in general, by the looks of things. I can't get out. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, and this is the med bay. By the looks of things, we've got a shower, locker room, bathroom type setup over here. Um, a suit system, which there's another one of those in the ship later, because I had to get out of here. It starts you in the ship, so there's that. I have absolutely no idea what these are. But I'm gonna go with gyroscopes or batteries or something that's just a visual change, maybe, to the mod. Or a visual mod, maybe. Not sure. Uh, we have our programmable block here with a timer block. I'm not sure if that's just for looks or not. Okay, now here's our stormtrooper in our arm. Ooh, that's a new armory block. I'm gonna have to figure out what that comes from. I in no way, shape, or form intend to use that later in my own builds or anything. <clears throat> so, this does not look like it's transitioned to DX11, this button pedestal mod. But we get another really cool window here. And some more modded blocks. Modded blocks abound. Oh. Okay. Can't move. There we go. Woo! Lag spike. Um, got an LCD screen here with a, a couch for easy viewing. And a arcade system pool table. Like, definitely three guesses what that room's for. I'm gonna go with entertainment. 
Um, got a crew quarters. Another crew quarters. Actually, these are kind of nice rooms. You get like, it's like a hotel room. You have your beds with the nightstand in the center and a TV and a couch. It's like a small little hotel room. That's pretty cool. Uh, bathroom, by the looks of things. So it's actually kind of like a Corvette build like we've seen many times, but way more like spaciously laid out. It's not quite a single corridor. And then this is what really caught my eye on the screenshots and stuff was the bridge. The bridge looks really cool in my opinion. You got a lot of stuff going on. Let's see if we can brighten it up any. Nothing to see there. Um, oh, all of the air vents are leaking. Uh, that is possible too. The air jet stream animation thing seems to cause a lot of frame rate issues. So if it's like constantly doing that or something, that could be it. But I think it's just all the mods. I think it's just one of those that because the game doesn't always optimize real well and then mods aren't always built for like um, level of detail or... Um, I know the vanilla blocks, when you build them together, they become like a single block and it eliminates the faces that aren't being rendered, so it's easier on your system. I don't think mods do that. And so when you use a lot of modded blocks, it can get really, really framey. Uh, because I loaded up the Easy Start world, If for those of you that haven't seen my uh, return to my Let's Play series on Space Engineers, um, I mentioned that I loaded up my... Um, uh, the Easy Start Earth World, where you have a base and there's multiple little fighters and all that crap. And it seemed to run fine. I was recording at 30 frames. So I don't really know why, other than just being heavily modded, why this one would be real framey, because it is real framey. Uh, but anyways. So really, really cool. Really cool bridge layout. Very open with a lot of screens for a lot of different information, which is pretty awesome. But, I will not lie, the primary draw to this one was the exterior design. Uh, I really, really thought it was very detailed and intricate and pretty cool looking overall. It had some very different stuff. Just a lot of circle designs, circle windows. Uh, you get this underbelly kind of shape with a window in the center so you can see out these ring or circular shaped thrusters, which is really cool, really cool layout, really different. Um, in terms of moving, that can be part of the problem too. Apparently the world still has like encounters and stuff loaded in. I don't know if that'll cause issues or not. Uh, it turns pretty good once you get going. If you're at a standstill, it turns a little slow, but I mean, it's, it's a pretty good ship in terms of movement. Wow, it decelerates really fast. Holy crap. All right, so that is... I don't even know if I mentioned the name of this ship, did I? Uh, this is the Ioni Mark I, I think? I hope I'm saying that right. I have no idea. Check the description. You know me. That's about as close to accurate as I can get. Oh, wow, now I'm okay. I'm getting way better frames. That's weird. So it must have been someplace I was around. I must have been around some... loaded in something. And bear, you'll have, I, I told everybody in my last video, you guys are going to have to bear with me a tad as I adjust to the new hardware and stuff like that because I'm still getting used to what it can and can't do, uh, what causes frame rate problems. Yeah, this is way better. I'm holding a solid 20 now. Huh. So I must have been around something that was causing a ton of lag. I don't know. That's weird. Anyways... So that's about it for this one. Let us move on to the next one. And this should get interesting, because I think the ones I picked out are bigger than this. A lot. So this should be fun. All right, and yet another one that's going to hit my frames pretty hard. But at least this one's understandable, because we are actually on a planet. So, I mean, you got to do this whole thing, plus this whole thing. If I took the planet out, this would probably render fine. And we're getting, a, like, 20, so it's not bad. But this is the Villa Bella View 2.0, I think. Hope I got that right. Um, so basically, the original one was, I believe, the same idea, but less detailed. And they added, the developer added, like, um, interior turrets, lighting, and some other little bits and bobs um, to the new one. Plus a new room, which was left out of the description for mysterious fun exploration's sake. Um, so, the, obviously we've got a landing pad over here, and over here, and there's an airlock here. Solar panels here. 
Um, there's another pair on the other side that I found. I don't know if that's the only solar panels or not, though. Uh, we've also got a hanger here with the airlock hanger doors covering. Um, let's see. Lift hanger bay, inverse hanger bay door, hang lights hanger bay. So let's go with this. We want the elevator. And I kind of came in from the bottom mainly just because it was easier and I could find the door and I knew where that was because I actually ran this one earlier to uh, this world to test my frame rates on bigger builds and stuff like that. Good lord, this is the tallest elevator of all time. Alright. Like a... What do you call those things? Uh, um, oh, dang it. What are those elevators they always wanted to make to like the moon or other planets? It was like a space elevator or a, a moon bridge or something. I don't know. I don't know. Fill in the blank for those of you that know what it's actually called. <laughs> so anyways, this is the next room, which I have no idea what it is. Uh, the rooms were not real descriptive. It was just kind of like, hey, go check out the villa. So, detention center, authorized personnel only. It did list what rooms there were, but I don't know which which ones are uh, uh, are where, basically. And I can't open this door. I apparently am not authorized. I don't know how that happened. What is this? Lift control center. Okay. Wait, where is the lift? Oh, there's the lift. While we're waiting for the lift, let's see if we can find a way to override this guy. Sliding door detention center. Oh, it's not on. There we go. Ah, I'm not not authorized. I just didn't have the power on. Do we have the same problem here? We do. Look at us solving problems. Woo, glitchy. All right, clean up. So this is our brig. We've got a camera so we can see all of our prisoners that we held hostage after the party went bad at our villa. <laughs> you know, when I say that out loud, that's a pretty funny scenario that would actually be hilarious. Um. So, we looks like we can hold six people against their will, which is great. That's just a good way to liven up the party, isn't it? I don't know why... Yeah, I don't know why the frames are so touch and go. But if you don't mind, just bear with me. Actually, I do know of one thing that causes an extreme amount of frame rate issue, and that is a holographic projector up here quite possibly in this red room that shows the whole like 3D layout of the villa. It's a really cool idea, but I did notice a significant improvement in my frames when I turned it off. So we're going to do that next if this is the next room. Gorgeous views though. I mean, you can't you can't beat this. I mean, like morning coffee, man. Woo. What of you? All right. Open. It says me. Yeah, this thing. Really really epically awesome idea. I love it. But my frames don't. So I think it's this one. Yes. And my frames pick up a lot once I turn that off. So really cool idea. Definitely check that out if you would like to see more, but I turned it off. Emergency lockdown, emergency lockdown, emergency lockdown, emergency lockdown. Well, that's self-explanatory. Timer block alarm system. This does have an alarm system where you can lock down all of the rooms or something like that, or it at least closes off the elevators to the detention center and locks the doors and blah, 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 blah. Um, but I think it locks down all the rooms, I believe is what it was said. But this is so cool. Like, this is epic. This is just epic. Yeah, my frames are way better after turning that thing off. Love holographic projectors and all, but you're, you're killing me. Uh, batteries, batteries, grand reactor. What the? We gotta go check out this grand reactor thing here. See what we got going on. Lights. Um, I can't tell if that's just a large reactor that's titled a grand reactor or if that's some kind of modded reactor. Oh well. Ooh, too bright. Alright, let's see if we can find another elevator up to our next destination. Definitely got enough interior turrets, though. If you came in from the bottom of the villa, you would not make it very far without getting pelted with bullets. 
And if you came in from the top, well, then you'd have to be cooler than me and know where the front door is. So there you go. This is pretty cool. If I don't get lost on this hill and can actually find the stairs. Okay. It would have been kind of neat to have complete stairs, but I haven't built on planets since the planets came out, so it's possible that that's a pain in the butt and they decided not to do it. Also, I'm noticing these have corner lights, so at night these walkways would be lit up, which is a really slick idea, and I think that's awesome. Okay, door. <gasps> Ooh, it's a slider door. Oh, I get it. See, I kept seeing all this glass, and I just thought it was windows. That's probably why I couldn't find the front door. Lights, outer stairs. Yeah, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Ooh, what would be cool is if there was a... I don't think Space Engineers has a daylight sensor. Whoa. Whoa, now. I got another projector I'm going to have to turn off. <laughs> These stupid projectors, man, they're so cool, but they, they hurt me so bad. What ship is that? I don't remember seeing that one on any of the pads. That is pretty awesome, though. Maybe we'll see it in a minute. Lights penthouse. Door to plane terrace. Lights main terrace. Uh, preview. Let's turn you off. There we go. Look at this place, though. This place is awesome. Like... I know I have a limited amount of time to show off each bill and all, but I could kind of just walk around and look at all of these rooms, like, a lot. Because this is pretty cool. Uh, I do want to check out the terrace. Oh, oh, are you cool or what? Dude. That's awesome. That is so awesome. I can't en entirely isolate the, um... The frame rate issues, though, because there are multiple small ships and stuff in the build as well. So it's possible those are causing issues, though the projectors everywhere could be something to do with it. Not that they're not cool. I love them as an art design, but they're, they're hurting me. I really like the whole glass door idea, though. That's pretty awesome. Lights main hall. Alright, let's turn that one off. I'm just going around turning off all the screens. So we got ourselves a little hover bike looking thingy majigger which is pretty awesome looking anyway i don't know if it's actually awesome i haven't used it um i'm not a hundred percent positive but i do believe there's a clause in the description that says the ships in the build were not part of the original creation like there are other modders designs um so pretty much the the villa is what the the modder had built or the builder, I should say, not there. Lights reception, door. So cool. Such a great use of that glass. I think that's the Death Star retractable bridge systems. Door access to private quarters. Is that this door? Yes, that's this door. Yeah, so I think that's that build, or that, uh, that mod, which is a really cool use of that mod. I always thought of it as like... I don't know, a bridge. I never thought of it as actual doors. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, we have a dining hall. Oh, no, that's neat. That's cool. That is a cool table system. Hmm. I wish I had thought of this when we were filming Dog Squad. <laughs> Though they didn't have these passenger seats before, I don't think. And if they did, they didn't work the same way, if I recall right. Alright, I don't see a door for or a button for this one. Hmm, maybe it's on this panel? Highlight. Door diner room. Lights. Nope. Not it. <laughs> That's the same one. Alright, so I don't know how to open that other one. I don't see a button anywhere. I might just be missing it, which is highly possible. But let's move on. There is a light thing, though, which is pretty awesome. Good job on the lights. That's so cool. I love those corner lights. That's one of my new favorite mods. Uh, light stairs? Oops. Nope. Door kitchen. Ooh, we have a kitchen. What? Okay, that's cool. That is awesome. 
Yeah, that's a that's a cool kitchen. And I love the views. Views abound in this place. This is just like the coolest house ever. Toward a kitchen, yeah. So it's definitely the coolest place I've seen in terms of a space engineer's house. Most of the time, you see bases, you see ships, stuff like that. You rarely see, like, homes. It's not quite like the Minecraft where everyone went home crazy. They kind of went base crazy. Alright, we have a dark med bay. Let's liven it up a little bit. Lights, there we go. Ooh, that is an awesome... That is an awesome MRI machine. Or CAT scan, I always get those mixed up. And we got our beds and an actual med bay, in case you actually wanted to use this uh, in a survival let's play or something. Conference room, because they have a conference room. Bedroom. Alright, let's find us a light switch. Lights, bedroom. Doors, bedroom, balcony. What? Again. Epic bedroom. Uh, this is cool. This reminds me of like a Mass Effect type thing. I don't know why, but I feel like I remember there being some kind of projector on a... Oh! I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You didn't see that. Let's move on. Um, okay. This is really cool. That's a cool setup. I like that. I like it a lot. What goes this way, though? Ah, the master bathroom. I see. I would like to point out, other than for proper airflow, this is a very, very spacious room for a toilet. Just saying. Just my thoughts. All right, let's move on. Let's not look over there. Okay. Conference room. Ooh. I don't know what those screens are of, but I love them. Oh, I like those too. This is a cool conference room. Yes, we shall now start the meeting. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, projector. I know, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Ooh, ooh, look at that, ooh. What is this one, though? I keep seeing these ships, but I can't find them anywhere. Particularly that one in the main penthouse. LCD screens, conference room, lights. Eh. Door. So I still can't find a projector one. Dang nabbit. It's probably because this is actually, I'm guessing, a small ship with a landing gear holding it all in place. Maybe. Which is probably why I can't get to it. Okay. I'm not an expert. I might have missed something. But it's possible that we've seen most of the stuff. Wait, no. I think I might have missed something. Living room. Gosh. I did not spend... <laughs> I did not mean to spend this much time on this build, but it's just so freaking cool. We got another actual couch mod that's not like futuristic, but like a normal couch. Dude, this is such a cool place. I wish my frames weren't already dipping or I would load this in and start building on top of it. more good gravy like it's cool but I'm running out of time so this episode may just be longer I don't know it depends on how long the next build is um I do think however that we've seen it all because that's living conference uh, uh, bedroom with a perfectly symmetrical desk that never moved kitchen bedroom balcony uh, I think they said this was the dining room. And that's the command center. S that's the prison, I think, the brig. And the hangar. We got batteries holding up the building, which is an interesting idea and use of batteries. Uh, that leads out to the maintenance for the exterior and the med bays over here. We saw that. I think we've, I think we covered everything. I'm pretty sure, because we covered the top. Yeah, so pretty much just an overall awesome build, basically. Epic. Totally epic. Love it. Alright, so let's move on to our last one. Behold, 
Unicron. Wait, no, that's not right. Hold on, let me think. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, no, <laughs> I got it. This is the Cohab Living Sphere. I, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> let's move on. Okay, so this one is actually both interesting in terms of performance and not so interesting in terms of performance because it's actually running, which surprised me. <laughs> I mean, you can just look at this thing and it looks crazy ridiculous. Um, but it is running a, a little lower, somewhere in the 18 to 20 FPS, but it's running. So that's the interesting, both not interesting, because it's like, it's, it's not running optimally, but I'm actually surprised I can run it. So I guess my card is actually doing something, because I think this would have probably broke my other graphics card. It would probably have been like, what are you thinking? Go away. So... This is interesting. I'm going to get lost in it. I'm going to miss things. I'm just going to preface that. So it, it just just bear with me. Um, I read the description. I'm probably going to screw that up. But from what I gathered, the idea is all of these little attached ship looking things are actual mining ships, I believe. I, I could be wrong. I thought they are. Maybe. Wait, they're attached. No, no, no. If they're attached, they can't be minor ships. Huh. Okay. So the idea behind this was a big corporation. I mean, the backstory of it, if you will. Uh, a big corporation basically provides housing, gravity, all that kind of, all the good stuff so that workers can live on this sphere. But then they take the mining ships here, which I'm still trying to figure out how they did Detach, because so far nothing looks detachable. So I'm not really sure how that works. But anyways, there is some form of mining equipment that can detach from this ship somehow, or this space station. And it goes out, and the workers go out and mine asteroids, so on and so forth, bring the resources back, and basically in return, they're allowed to live on the Cohab living sphere, which is pretty cool. Um, one of the things that caught my eye about this is not only the odd and really unique design of let's build a sphere with multiple chunks of ships and crazy doodads, but also the kind of Mass Effect Citadel feel where you know how you could like walk on the walls and that was a another section and that was another section and it kind of had like a Halo, Mass Effect Citadel, a couple of those types of thing feel to it. Now, what would be interesting, granted, without mods, this is a modless blueprint, um, I would be curious to see a more, how do I put this, living focused, uh, living sphere if that makes sense to anyone. Uh, essentially what I mean is you see these like attached mining ships everywhere, but the ring itself, if all of these were to detach or something, are, is relatively um, empty. So it would be cool to see these little attachment pieces instead of being like for mining purposes, actually being um, like living pods or something or having a you know, an, uh, an entertainment deck, or a nightclub deck, or, you know, things like that, like, a, um, more like the Citadel. Oh, I see, these aren't attached. I thought that was part of it. Okay, where is this attached at? Oh, I see, it's through the connectors. Okay, so the connectors detach, and then all of these can leave. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So let's go scope out one of these guys. I feel like my simulation speed is really low. It is very low. Look at me run. Look at me run in bullet time. Woo! -hoo. I thought I was. So, for those of you that may not be aware, Space Engineers does do that in an effort to try. It tries its best. Wait, do I go up or down? I'm so confused. Let's go this way first. I should be inverted now, which is not a good thing. I am. Um, so for those of you that may not be aware, Space Engineers tries to do... Um, to preserve your frame rate by hurting your... Uh, 
simulation speed, in essence, which is why I'm running in, like, slow motion and falling in slow motion and all that stuff. It's, it's basically trying not to kill my frame rate by slowing all the calculations down so it can, it can do it faster, for those of you that may not be aware. So that's what's going on there. Uh, we have a piston here, but since we're docked, I'm kind of afraid to mess with it, because it's probably going to do something I don't want it to do. Oh, it extends the drill. Okay, that wouldn't have hurt anything, but whatever. Uh, one of the things, though, I'm kind of seeing is I expected there to be a bit more living... Uh, what do you call them? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking accompaniments or something, or li accommodations, there we go. I was expecting a bit more living accommodations in the living sphere, unless I'm missing something, which is totally possible. Um, but that's what I was thinking would be neat, is some kind of, like, uh, not mining-based, but uh, living only, like, uh, lifestyle, you know, like, uh, what was that movie with Matt Damon that came out, kind of similar to the Im Imperium? No. Epsilon? Wait, no. Elysium. There we go. Ah, I got it. You thought I wasn't going to get it, but I got it. Um, yeah, something like that where it's like, you know, high life penthouse kind of lifestyle would be really cool to see in a structure like this where it's all looped around and you can get all dizzy from it and everything. So that would be pretty cool. But overall, I still like the idea. I mean, the idea of this is really, really different and super cool. So, yeah. Uh, one final note before we wrap things up for this episode. For any of you that were curious of... Um, I did think of another reason why some of the frame rate issues could be uh, present. Uh, and that was basically that I also cranked up all of the graphical levels. So I'm running my maximum monitor resolution, but I'm also running all of the graphics on max. So like anti-aliasing... Um, all that crap is is maxed out so that could attribute to if i had it set to the way i had it set before with my old card but just ran the new one it may not do quite so bad on some of these bigger builds but um, i am running maxed graphics so that could that could have something to do with it if i lowered them back to where i was at just with a better card i might get a more solid frame rate so who knows but um, anyways, it's holding up pretty good. This was a pretty good test of the new hardware, because these builds were pretty demanding. Especially this one, and um, that first one. That first one was really bad. Like, it had so many mods on it. Alright, so we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!